Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and we're bringing you an updated absolute best AAR or average armor rating uh, guide for Kingdom Come Deliverance in 2021. So basically this video is just going to show you what's the absolute best gear and I'll tell you where to get most of the stuff if I can remember it and weapons and all that sort of stuff. So this is going to be a good guide for anyone just starting off Kingdom Come Deliverance in 2021. So like always let's start off with weapons. So for weapons the specific ones I picked for the suit are my favorite weapons and that's the Sinew Longbow because it's the best bow in the game, the Metal Plated Battle Axe, the one with the point on it because it's my overall favorite weapon in the game, the boost shield, and some better piercing arrows. Those are what I consider to be the best weapons. Now, of course, a lot of it's going to come down to personal style and how you like to fight, but those are the ones I like the best. I also included, I'll just show you the best of every other weapon type here. So the best mace you can get is the Ceremonial Mace. A close second is the Bailiff's Mace, but the Ceremonial base Mace has a couple advantages, like a higher defense level and a higher stab damage and slash damage. So it's, it's, just barely edges out the Bailiff's Mace, but the Ceremonial Mace is actually better. Uh, and I think it also has a higher durability, now that I think of it, and Charisma. It's just all around, it's a better weapon. So that's the best mace. I also included a Warhammer, even though it's the same weapon type as a mace. Uh, some people just like going with a hammer. So the Heavy Warhammer is the best Warhammer in the game. Real nice stab damage, similar to the Metal Plated Battle Axe, except half, because 27, that is just so good. I don't know why everyone doesn't love this weapon as much as I do. But it's got decent stab, uh, 3 for slash, 57 for blunt, which is good, 36 for defense which is pretty dang good for a warhammer uh, and a durability of 45 because it's made out of wood but it's honestly a solid weapon if you want to use a warhammer best hunting sword is the nobles hunting sword the master huntsman sword is a close second it really only beats this one in durability because it has higher durability but this one has better charisma better defense better blunt slash and stab damage so if you want to use a hunting sword the nobles hunting sword is the way to go then as far as sabers go the best one is easily the rider's saber like it's not even close this one is quite a bit better than all the rest of the sabers but uh, best stab slash defense durability all around it's just a really good saber so if you want to use a saber this is the one the best uh, arming sword or short sword as they call it in the game is easily the stinger this one is one that is excellent for stabbing you can see it has 79 stab damage that's like crazy high uh, so it's it's easily the best short sword in the game and then for the best long sword saint george's sword is just it's overall the best it doesn't have the highest single stat damage that would be Herod's sword which has 75 for stab but this one has 72 for stab 70 72 for slash, 110 for defense, which is super good, and 71 for durability, which is pretty dang good. This is honestly the best longsword in the game, and because of that, it's, in a lot of people's opinions, just the best weapon in the game, because everyone likes longswords. If you don't like this one, Herod's sword is pretty good, and so is Longinus's sword. So either one of those are are also really good contenders. And of course, the Executioner's sword should be considered uh, just for its pure slash damage alone. But honestly, best balance-wise, St. George's Sword is the best two-handed sword. Most of these weapons can be purchased at either the Rete, uh, the Rete Sword Shop or the Sasau Sword Shop. I've got guides on where to find them all on the channel, so if you really want to know, that's the best way to go. An alternative to the boost shield for the best shield in the game would be the Borback Shield, which you can get if you build the guardhouse in the Privy Slavic settlement when you do the From the Ashes settlement. That's the only shield in the game that's better than the boost shield. This one can just be purchased at the Rete Armor Shop. Either way, great shields but that's weapons so let's move on to clothing so for clothing people will recognize my uh, signature loadout for most outfits that i do dark padded coif decorated arming doublet and i went with this variant but really any color would do decorated black hose golden spurs necklace and signet ring being in my opinion just stat wise the best uh, base layer of clothing in the game. So let's add some mail. So for mail, as always, we only have three pieces, the long noble hauberk, the mail chosses, and the noble's mail coif. Now you could use the short noble hauberk as well. It's got the same stats, uh, except it's just a hair lighter, but this one does full arm coverage, so I like it better. So that's the that's what it looks like with mail on. Let's add the top layer of plate armor. So for the top layer of plate armor, we basically just have all the Zul armor, the House of Zul, Zul Curus, House of Zul Helmet, Zul arm plates, Zul leg plates, and the Nobleman's Gauntlets. So it looks very cool. This armor can all be obtained by defeating Hagen Zul in the Band of Bastards DLC. So if you don't have that DLC, then you can't actually get this armor. But if you do, it's the best armor in the game. You can come up with a close second by using like the Nuremberg, Kyrus, uh, and then I believe Augsburg plate stuff for the other stuff, and then the arching bassinet for the helmet. That's a close second, or even the Lords of Lipa armor is going to come in there pretty close, but this is stat-wise the best plate armor you can get. And then on top, we'll just pop the 
Cuffed Combat Jupon because it is the best stat-wise for the uh, total outer garment. It's actually tied for the best with a couple other Jupons that look exactly like this, but this one's the one I like appearance-wise the best. So that is overall what it looks like. That's the full suit of armor. A little puffy looking because of the Jupon, but it's stat-wise it's just so good. Total weight for this suit of armor, including just the weapons I have equipped, so that's just the arrow, shield, axe, and sinew bow, and then all this stuff. The total weight is 85.5 pounds. The total value, again, just the ones I'm using, is 23,716.2 groschen, so it's pretty dang expensive. It's not the most expensive equipment you can wear, but it's it's very high. And then an average armor rating, or AAR, of 124. As far as I've been able to come up with, that is the best suit of armor in the game for defense. So my line, if you watch these videos a lot, my line is usually at 100, you become a tank. This one is 24 points higher than that. So this one is the closest to indestructible you can become. So let's just take a look at it from the outside, see what it looks like. So honestly, even with the Jupan, I think it looks pretty nice because the Zul Curus actually isn't, doesn't stick out very far. It's one of the more low profile Curuses in the game. So I actually think this looks decent. I know a lot of people don't like the Jupan on the outside or even Wave Rocks, but I think it looks all right. I love the Zul helmet. It's my favorite, uh, probably my favorite helmet in the game, either that or the German bassinet, but I think this one might be my favorite. And you've got just enough gold to make it look fancy. Not so much that it's garish. Honestly, I really like the suit of armor, and I think it pairs really well with the axe. So let's go test this bad boy out and uh, see if we can't hurt some people. So we don't want to use the bow too much because it just feels cheap, because you could literally wear whatever you want and kill everyone with the bow. But we'll take a few out with the bow just to show you that this suit of armor is good at multiple distances. Oops, we missed that guy. Alright, so we killed the guards from a distance. Well, kinda. Sucks to be them. Now let's uh, try her out in close quarters. I get that you're afraid, but don't be a leader. Is that the best you can do? Who the fuck could have killed him? I'll slaughter you. Come here, Lily Lily. I just realized I haven't said anything. I was like trying to concentrate. It's always hard to uh, even if you've got what happened. Look how much I'm taking hits. <laughs> they haven't taken very much damage yet. Alright, there we go. Let's put some distance between us and them. Holy crap. Try to weed him out a little bit again. Hey pal. Oh, I'm surprised that didn't kill him. Come on, buddy, don't be that way. Oh. Okay. But as you can see, look at that. I've 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 been taking a beating from these guys, but not much health's gone. This guy's got a mace, so he's probably got the best chance of killing me. Oh, he blew it. Hey, that guy took an arrow for his buddy. Ah! They surrounded me. This is where we make our last stand. Oh. Ah, I bled to death. <laughs> you can't blame the armor, I bled to death. It wasn't the armor's fault. <laughs> but anyway, let's take one, uh, one more look at that suit. So yeah, like I said, pretty decent looking suit of armor. And as you saw from that, like, if I was more strategic with that attack, that wasn't the point. I actually wanted to take a bunch of damage and see how long we could go. And anyone familiar with the game knows that we lasted a decent amount of time, took a lot of hits before we died. And basically rushing Rote is the most dangerous thing you can do in this game. Because even rushing into Pribislavitz, when it's all full of bandits and all that sort of stuff early in the game, is not as dangerous as trying to kill all the guards in Rote. Now, they're going to be more aggressive as bandits than the guards, because the guards will not immediately be as aggressive. But honestly, you're just going to get overwhelmed in Rote, because there's way too many people there, and they're all armed pretty well, and they fight pretty well. Yeah, no, honestly, this suit of armor is, out of what I've been able to find, best in the game. It just, it keeps you safe. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. hope you found it useful if this is what you were looking for. But in any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.